This Tmux configuration will change how you write code. Tmux and Vim are amazing together, and this is how I configured Tmux on my Mac. If you don't already have Tmux installed, run brew install Tmux, and this will install the latest version. Next, create a tmux.conf file. This is where all your configuration lives for tmux. Then open this configuration file and let's set up some more comfortable and ergonomic key bindings and settings. We set leader R to essentially refresh our configuration. We change our leader key to control S from control B. This is just easier to hit. And we use Vim key maps to switch between panes because we're Vim users now and there's no looking back. Next up, this is the most important thing. We want to install TPM, the Tmux plugin manager. We're going to make this config look amazing and TPM helps us get there quick. So run this git clone command and then put this at the bottom of your Tmux config. This will set our initial plugin to TPM itself and at the bottom of the file, it'll run TPM. We can source Tmux by typing leader R, which is what we set up earlier because we're so cool. If you haven't done this, you can just run tmux source tmux.conf in your terminal, you heathen. Next, when you have tmux open again, run control S capital I. This will install your packages. The first package I like to install is Chris Toomey's Vim tmux navigator. To install, add the plugin through tpm and press control S capital I. If you have this installed through TPM in Tmux and in your NeoVim or Vim configuration, you can now navigate between both Vim and Tmux panes seamlessly using Vim key bindings. With this setup, you'll totally be the coolest kid in school, guaranteed. Now to set up the most beautiful part, the status bar. We install Dracula Tmux through TPM by setting the plugin Dracula Tmux. After installing this plugin, we can put these config lines in your tmux.conf. The settings tell Dracula to show the power line, it gives a location for weather, and it shows certain flags. We also want to set the status bar to the top position because in the bottom it's a little bit busy. You'll want to install Dracula with Control S capital I and then refresh your configuration using Control S R. And there you go, you have the sickest looking power bar. If I had friends, they'd definitely be jealous now. So now we have a Tmux configuration that seamlessly moves between panes looks amazing, and is nice and ergonomic with the key bindings we set up. I would urge you to check out more packages on TPM because there's a lot of great stuff there, but hopefully this config will get you started in the right direction. Speaking of jealous, if you're jealous of my sweet Vim setup, check out this video that explains how to set up NeoVim from scratch in Lua. Anyways, thanks nerds.